Thank you, Scott. Jesse Porter. He's excused. Lana Shackelford, here. Richard Niederberg. Here. Dean Cutler. Here. Adele Slaughter. Here. <clears throat> That's us. Lisa Crutch. Yeah, we have a quorum. Thank you. I'm here. Um, thank you, everyone, for participating. Uh, May 12, Wednesday night, 2021, Land Use Committee meeting of the Studio City Neighborhood Council. So um, I do not have any announcements or reports or updates aside from uh, that. Well, I don't. I'll go ahead and come back to it. Should I have anything? Um, let's go ahead and open up to public comments on non-agenda items within the committee's jurisdiction. Please raise your hand if you have something. Scott Mandel, go ahead. Hi, thanks, Lisa. I uh, just wanted to thank you for getting the ball rolling on the Studio City Park and Ride uh, for a couple of meetings. Homelessness had the county on last night and they continued to be clown themselves as far as trying to do trash pickup, porta potty servicing, um, when they're gonna get security. I mean, they were flapping around like fish on a deck. It was an, it should have been embarrassing for them. And I guess this will be uh, up to the next board and committees to um, try and resolve. And also just one more thing, I see the, the supermarket by Eureka that wouldn't divulge its name is not on the agenda. So I'm only assuming the developers couldn't get out of the NDA and I guess we'll find out about that one in due course. Thanks. So in response to that, I was in touch with uh, the, developer, the the property owner there. Um, and yes, they could not uh, get the supermarket developer to share the information. Um, they went and they asked based on how the neighborhood council meeting went last month. And uh, they said in no way did they want to share the name of the market. So um, there will be a public hearing for it. I am going to attend and we'll see how that goes. Um, and in regard to the park and ride, I'm still staying on top of that, trying to get a major cleanup. It's really unfortunate when I come across uh, stakeholders when all they do is just complain about all the homelessness that's in um, our community. And it's very sad, something needs to be done and um, these government officials need to seriously take some action and be accountable for the cleanup. Thank you for that, Scott. Moving on to three, two, ending in 018 unmute yourself and go ahead and ask or make your public comment. hi it, it's Barry I'm just hi, on Barry. this for my audio um okay. yes I I noticed at the park and ride a couple of weeks ago they made all the RVs leave um which was almost worse because once the RVs all left all the trash that was around them was now revealed. And if That's you go by there now, it looks even worse than when the RVs were there, which actually hid some of the trash. But I don't know how many of you have been up to the 747 crash site on the Universal lot. It now looks as bad as that, if you've ever seen that. It oh. looks as bad as as that in terms of the debris everywhere. It's worse than when the RVs were allowed to be there. So, and, and the other thing I was just gonna say is um, in regards to the quote unquote market at Ventura and Eureka, they're gonna, whether they get a motion of support or not, they're gonna get to um, do what they wanna do there. So I, I just don't think there should be any motion at all or or perhaps 
the chair might want to bring a motion to the next board meeting saying that we were willing to support, but because you wouldn't tell us what the market is, which can have a bearing on the business model and the amount of traffic that we could not support it, not knowing this, you know, because it's a secretive um, entity that's coming in there. So, I mean, I would suggest either do nothing or do a motion saying why you're not supporting it, you know, that you would have supported it if they had come forward, because I don't think it's fair to um, the stakeholders of Studio City um, to have something endorsed that we don't know what it is. So, thank you. Right, duly noted. Thank you. Close the liquor license, though. Say that again, Richard. Did you want to make a comment? Oppose the liquor license, though, when that comes up, they have to reveal it. And that is on the piece of paper. They must provide it. You mean even as a grocer, they have to have a liquor license? If they want, if they want, if they want to sell Just... liquor, they've got to have a license. They've got to do the official posting. Okay. I'll see them around. White okay. paper, yellow background. Yeah. That's and, but that's well, going to come much later. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. So that's that's going to come later. Thank you. So let's try and minimize the back and forth. Um, next uh, public commenter, phone number ending in 713. Unmute yourself and please make your comment. 323. No, 561. Hi. Hi. Hi, this is Ruth, um, your roofless neighbor. Um, I wanted to comment about homelessness. Okay. Um, I hear a lot of comments still. I know I warned you guys about advocating for cleanup, um, which is advocating for displacements of human beings in a pandemic. Once again, with nowhere to go. Um, I know you guys are really, really pushing the county and you're just pushing, like, you're... I don't know if you guys understand that, like, when you ask for a cleanup, they come and they take the people away, too, and their houses, right? Like, you, if you don't want them to do that, you have to really specifically say, I don't want you to take the people and their houses away. I just want you to take the garbage. And you're not doing that. You're advocating for displacements, e evictions. I mean, like, what? You guys have an eviction moratorium. There's no reason to be spending that time so bored that you have to evict other people just to like feel powerful or something. Um, there's been about eight or nine homeless deaths in Studio City, just that I know of. The last time we counted, there was 211. That's four percent that I know of personally that have died in a year. One of them was 24. The care team threw away the tent that he lived in and his nebulizer and then um he was arrested uh in in a sweep i think for a probation violation and he got covid in jail and he came out of jail and he died at 24 and and you know like that's what you're doing to people when you when you advocate for them to be cleaned up or swept or or moved or disappeared you're not leaving them any place to go. There is no route for us to actually get housing from the city. If we ask for it, we get turned away. If we get on a list, we get kicked off the list. I was just kicked off a list I've been on for a year. Okay, I tried to get in Project Rinky. I asked for it a year ago. They told me I wasn't on a list before they even asked what my name was. Okay, I'm medically vulnerable. Um, there are people that lived under the highway that got in there and they're healthy. But like because they were under the highway or because like people wanted them gone, they got priority. You guys need to know what you're doing. You guys need to think about this. This should weigh on you. Like you're messing people's lives up. You're taking people's things away and they have so little already. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. And I'm sorry to hear about the gentleman who's 24 who passed. May he rest in peace. Thank you for that. Uh, duly Thank noted. You. Um, um, another thing. What's that, Richard? Just want to say that because they had they had just not, not just the announcement for the Hollywood Bowl, Fourth of July three nights, 
four nights, but they also have other things scheduled also. So it's not just getting them out of the way, according to what the people want to do or not do. It's also it's a continuous thing. They have a lot of different events planned, not just the 4th of July. Right. Thank you, Richard. Um, Terry Austin, unmute yourself and proceed with your comment. Thank you. Um, can you hear me, Lisa? I can. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, my comment, I just wanted to um, make note that on April the 15th, um, the um, Cultural Heritage Commission voted to nominate the Weddington Golf and Tennis property uh, for a cultural historical monument. I want to point out that their recommendation was for the property and not merely the clubhouse putting green and golf standards. The um, letter of determination is on the Save Weddington website and can be viewed there in its whole. And it's very important, I think, that um, I'm hoping that the Land Use Committee and the um, Neighborhood Council as a whole will urge our councilmen to not reduce the nomination from the property to just bits and pieces. This did happen to another um, cultural heritage nomination on uh, last Tuesday, the Plum Commission uh, Committee rather without any discussion or questions to the callers reduced the nomination from the building down to just the exterior signs. So it's going to be very important for everybody to write and let Councilman Kokorian know that we want him to pursue the entire nomination and not um, make it uh, watered down for the developer's benefit. Um, this will be very important. I want to also mention that the, the monument nomination does not prohibit development. It just gives us a bargaining chip and why the councilman would not want us to have as much leverage as possible as to what goes in there. I wouldn't understand if he were to do that. So I'm asking everybody to write or email him, go to our website, sign the petition, save Weddington. And there's also a history page up there. Um, there was an op-ed by one of the Becker brothers who are the descendants of the Weddingtons saying that the whole historical nomination had come out of thin air. I'd like to point out that in 2008, when a developer wanted to develop the property, there was a historical uh, um, uh, treatise done by Agricultural Resource Group. And at that time, it was pointed out what the historical significance was. And in 2012, the city of LA put the property on Survey LA, which means the city recognized it as a significant historic property. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Uh, just to be clear, Councilman Krikorian hasn't watered down anything as of right now, correct? He has not. No, he hasn't. And we're just, we're just right. hoping that we don't have, because what did happen was, I will point out that I did get a call. I hadn't been contacted by the councilman's office when I was doing my presentation. I thought that was odd. And so two days beforehand, I was able to finally track down Carl Terosian. And he said to me at the time, I said, Carl, I don't want to get any nasty surprises. Does a, you know, what's the councilman's feeling? And he said, well, we, um, we try not to put our finger on the scale of these meetings, but then at the meeting, he said that the councilman would like them to spend uh, specific attention to the clubhouse, the putting green and the light bulb standards. And he said they didn't know if, uh, the, uh, if they agreed that the property was significant. So that's what the deputy said. Yes, I was there at that meeting and I did hear him say that, but although he did conclude by saying that he would um, go with the recommendation of the Thank you, Lisa. Yes, he did say that. So that's what I'm hoping happens. So thank you for mentioning that because that's exactly what he did say. Right, okay. Um, thank you for, uh, for that, Terry. Thank you. Hey, Lisa, Barry needs you to take his raised hand down. He's not able to do that. He's the one with the, the um, three, two, three, number zero, one, zero, one, eight. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's not just me. It's all the hands that raised. We before. can't take them down. Yeah, the, <laughs> five, the five, six, one, uh, Ruth's number, five, six, one. Okay. Let me see if I can do and, that. And um, I'm not sure about Richard's, probably Richard's as well. How's that? Looking good. Better? Okay, any other public comments? Okay, moving on. I am looking for 
David Solomon. If you are here, please unmute yourself and introduce yourself. David Solomon for item number five, Akira Sushi, David Solomon. Okay, so um, he's not here and I am very disappointed. I want that to be heard on record. Um, this address uh, and Mr. Solomon have not responded to any of my emails um, after my initial email to him and phone call to him in regard to case number ZA-2021-0563-2022. Located at 11830 Trail Boulevard in Studio City, California, 91604. So this is in regard to a sushi restaurant that is attached to the parking lot next to Mr. O's called Akira Sushi. So it's part of this specific plan, but just outside of the bid. Um, so they have not responded don't care to make a presentation to the land use committee and get a um, letter of support or an opposition to this restaurant. So I have no idea what their plan is other than what is stated on their application. So what I will do um, is have a conversation with planning and make sure that we send over our um, list of conditions for service industry establishments in Studio City, um, this restaurant being one. Uh, hours, not sure. So, and parking, um, do want to make that note of that. So um, I can't answer any questions to it because I know nothing other than what the application says. I have a question from Barry Johnson. Unmute yourself, go ahead. Yeah, I, I just wanna say that uh, for any of these types of things that are coming in to get a, you know, go in somewhere now to make sure we always say when um, the part, you know, there's certain parking um, requirements right. that are suspended right now. And once everything goes back to normal, all these new businesses have to have their parking requirements as if we'd never had COVID. So I just, I, that can't be stated enough in Studio City where parking is always at a premium. And I know the city council today voted to, to do like al fresco dining. They sent it to the city attorney to extend it indefinitely, but that al fresco dining can in no way involve required parking and parking lots. If they wanna do it on the sidewalk, fine, but it cannot in Studio City involve us losing any parking. We need all that we have. Plus, I think people are not gonna to wanna to be sitting outside much in the summer or winter anyway, just like before. I mean, they've had it with being outside, but anyway, we got to really be careful about that. Thank you. Yes, parking is uh, definitely a priority. This is a change of use from retail to a restaurant with 35 seats. Um, I just wish that he would have responded and uh, attended okay. our meeting to make a presentation. Um, because should they not have their parking requirement, they do have to pay in lieu of. So I do want to make sure that they are held accountable for that. Yes, Lana, did you ask? Um, well, I noticed that there was a call in from a number that was an 818 area code, and then they disconnected. I, I'm not mm -hmm. sure if that might have been someone who then couldn't um, unmute or didn't know how to unmute. I, mm -hmm. I, 
I'll check my emails. He has my email. He has my address. He has okay. my but phone you number. Haven't heard from him he has all, the so. agenda with the zoom mm -hmm. link he has it all mm -hmm. he just chooses to ignore all of it mm -hmm. so um i was just like curious. i said yeah i was just curious about that number that then just kind of hung up okay, okay. thank you sure. uh Lana. all right um anyone else commenting on this item no hands raised thank you moving on to um, number six, presentation, discussion, and possible motion uh, in regard to the notice from the City of Los Angeles Department of Cannabis Regulation pursuant to LAMC 104.5B1. This is a notice of the PCN um, requests for retail storefront commercial cannabis activity. Uh, moving on to number A. So uh, before we start there, I just want to say these items, in, uh, with the exception of D, number D, uh, under number six, uh, we did present at land use, but I did want to bring it back around, get a proper vote on record, and take it to um, the uh, Neighborhood Council board meeting next week for a vote to file um, the council files that are due by May 28th, and I can get the, get it in um, by the 28th. So I'm going to go ahead and start with A. Um, the uh, business name is Hi AF in Studio City. It's a uh, business location at 4233 North Coldwater Canyon Avenue, Studio City, California 91604. Application number LA-P-19-31078. R-APP. Council file number 21-0420-S as in SAM5. Um, so in regard to dispensaries, cannabis, under state and local law, businesses must have local authorization to engage in commercial cannabis activity. Um, there is a page that features a comprehensive list and a map of all businesses with temporary approval or a license to sell medicinal or adult use cannabis in cannabis products. So I've checked the map that shows the number of available licenses allowed by our community plan area. At this time, there are zero licenses available for the Sherman Oak Studio City Toluca Lake Coinga Pass community plan. So um, we have a capacity of retail licenses at num nine, number nine. Um, and at this time, um, the non-PCN application slots are available as in zero. Um, so we do not have any more um, licenses that are available in our community. So um, in regard to Studio City is saturated with dispensaries. There are no new licenses that can be issued by the department. However, owners of these dispensaries can ask city council to approve their license due to a public convenience or necessity exception. That is the PCN, the public convenience necessity. Um, I feel that uh, Studio City uh, has enough dispensaries to fulfill the need of the community. Um, so moving on to number A, um, are there any public comments? Um, Peter Cole, go ahead and unmute yourself and state your comment, please. Uh, hi, is this the dispensary that's uh, on right across from Sportsman's? That's right. Oh, okay. And do you know what the name, what the, uh, it says high AF. Do you know what the AF stands for? I do not. Okay. I can only speculate, but judging Thanks. by the 
by judging by the name, um, not in my backyard, please. So anyway, yeah, it's a really bad location. And like you said, we have enough of these. So Thank that's you. it. Thanks. Barry, unmute yourself. Hi. I actually have a sample motion that I think could be attached to all four of these and and any future ones that you get. And it goes as follows. The board of the Studio City Neighborhood Council, SCNC, opposes any and all cannabis, marijuana in parentheses, shops beyond Studio City's current quota set by the city of Los Angeles, period. Thank you, thank you for that appreciate it. And, and I think that would be your, your one all to give to anybody coming to you in the future. I mean, these four that you have tonight and anybody coming in the future, it's like it doesn't even have to be agendized. The neighborhood councils already said, we're at our quota, no more. Thank you. Thanks. We include that in our council file, should we vote that way. So I'll go ahead and uh, take this to a vote unless I have any more comments. Yes, Lana. Weren't we approached by this particular group at this particular location previously? Yes, back in January of 2020, when they did attend the land use meeting where they presented and at which time I did state this exact information that I'm sharing with you now. So um, we did not support it then. Um, and they didn't know that. I did tell them directly at that meeting. So I don't understand how they just went ahead and disregarded anything that was discussed or that was shared with them. And, and, here and, thank, are. and thank you very much. I have noticed that the, at that location, a dental company went in to that location, but it was very mm. suspicious before the sign went up that it was a dental company because there were armed security people out front in a line. So I, I just, I don't have any idea what's going on if, if anybody is so operating what some way, I don't know. I, I'm so not trying to is, cast dispersions on anyone, just. No, no, it's fine. Um, appreciate that. So it was a dental office. They did take it over, um, at which point they did come to land use. We did state that we wouldn't support it, um, that we had met our quota then. This was January of 2020. And um, like I said, they disregarded it. They kept the sign up, but they did operate without a license as a dispensary since then. That's why you saw the security guards. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any more questions, comments? Okay, I'll go ahead and move to a vote. Um, motion 6A, the Land Use Committee of the Studio City Neighborhood Council opposes application number LA-P-19-310787-R and application number LA-P-19-310787-R and R-APP, business name um, Hi AF located at 4233 North Coldwater Canyon Avenue um, for council file 21-0420-S5. So I will go ahead um, give me one second. Can I interrupt? Yes, go ahead. Hello? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Richard. There are, you, you mentioned dentists. Dentists, I know a few of them, they actually dispense legally cocaine for 
to be chewed by patients. I, I went in and I don't know what's going on here. On the wall was a very nice federal license allowing them to dispense, you know, uh, cocaine from their uh, storefront. So okay, they, thank you. Thank you for that. And um, we digress. Uh, I am right in the middle of the motion. So, um, motion sits as is. Uh, let's go ahead and take a vote. I'll, I'll second it first. Okay. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Would you like for me to, to call out folks' yes, name please. for the yes, record? Uh, Lisa Karajian. Um, yes to the opposition. Lana Shackelford. That's me. Yes to the opposition. Uh, Richard Niederberg. Yes to the opposition. Dean Cutler. Yes to the opposition. Adele Slaughter. Yes to the opposition. Thank you. Uh, motion passes unanimously. <clears throat> Moving on to motion 6B, the Land Use Committee of, actually, let me read Blazon Buds first, excuse me. Uh, Blazon Buds, number B, uh, item number B, under six. Um, Blazon Buds, an LLC business location 12159. West Ventura Boulevard in Studio City, California, 91604, application number LA-P-19-310818-2022. Council file number 21-0420-S, as in Sam, six. Um, again, I feel the same way. Uh, we have met our quota, do not need dispensaries on all sides of Ventura Boulevard um, in Studio City. So uh, I will go ahead and move to the motion 6B, the Land Use Committee of the Studio City Neighborhood Council opposes application number LA-P-19-310818-R-P-19-310818. Business name Blaze and Buds, located at 12159 West Ventura Boulevard. Council file number 21 0420 S6. Um, go ahead and call. Roll, Lisa, Lana. Lisa Karajian. Um, yes to the opposition for Blaze and Buds. Thank you. Lana Shackleford, that is me. Yes to the opposition to. Blazing Buds, which is agenda item 6B. Thank you. Richard Niederberg. Yes to the opposition. Dean Cutler. Yes to the opposition. Adele Slaughter. Yes to the opposition. Thank you. Thank you. The motion passes unanimously. Moving on to item number C under number six. Bam Bam, an LLC business location at 10970 West Ventura Boulevard, Studio City, California, 91604. Application number LA-P-19-310808-2022. Council file number 21-0420-S8. Um, moving on with the theme of the opposition for motion 6C, the Land Use Committee of the Studio City Neighborhood Council opposes application number LA-P-19-310808-2022. R-APP, business name Bam Bam, located at 10970 West Ventura Boulevard, in Studio California, Studio City, rather, excuse me, California, 91604, Council File Number 21-0420-S8. Go ahead and call roll, please, Lana. Lisa Krajian. Yes to the opposition. Lana Shackelford, that is me. Yes to the opposition. Richard Niederberg. Yes to the opposition. Dean Cutler. Yes to the opposition. Adele Slaughter. Yes, to the opposition. Thank, thank, thank you. you very much. The motion passes unanimously. 
Moving on to item number D, um, under number six, the Basin Group, an LLC business location is 12915 West Ventura Boulevard in Studio City, California, 91604. Application number LA-P-19-31085-2022. Council file number 21-0420-S42. Moving to the motion for 6D. The Land Use Committee of the Studio City Neighborhood Council opposes application number LA-P-19-310855-R-2022-0010. Business name, The Basin Group, located at 12915 West Ventura Boulevard. Council file number 21-0420-S42. Go ahead and call roll, Lana, please. Lisa Krogian. Yes to the opposition. Lana Shackelford, that is me. Yes to the opposition. Richard Niederberg. Yes to the opposition. Dean Cutler. Yes to the opposition. Adele Slaughter. Yes to the opposition. Thank you. Thank you. Motion passes unanimously. So what I do want to encourage is um, for all stakeholders, please tell your friends, uh, your family members and whatnot. I have included all the links to the council files uh, that are listed on our agenda to go ahead and uh, visit those links and make your own personal comment onto these council files uh, for the city clerk to take notice of your comment. Okay, um, I think I have a question from Barry. So before I go to you, Barry, I do want to state that once I do put together um, the motions for the board for next week and file the council files in opposition, should it pass the board, I will go ahead and include your um, your suggestion of opposing any and all cannabis dispensary shops um, beyond Studio City's current quota set by the city of Los Angeles. So I will go ahead and include that. So appreciate that, but go ahead. Um, uh, I was just gonna say that for these four motions, should the board pass them, there probably should be a, a presidential letter saying just that for these four because otherwise they may just think we're opposing it because we're anti-drug or something but I think it's important that the people receiving these four motions know that you, you know the opposition comes from that we're already at our quota set by the city and not just opposing it for the sake of opposing it. Yes, I agree a hundred percent. So I, okay. I, I do plan on making sure I have all that listed in the council file before it is um, filed for every single one of these items. Uh, anyone else with a comment? I, I just wanted to say something real quick to one of our yeah go ahead, go uh, ahead to what I want to just want to give a, a shout out to one of our stakeholders Peter Cole who did send um, an email to us that mapped out the current locations of the dispensaries that are in our area so I just want to say thank you that was that was a nice visual that uh, accompanied your your comments thank you yes I concur Thank you so much for that. Question. Richard Niederberg. Are we opposed to, if somebody surrenders a license to your city, for them to get another one? I'm not sure what you're asking or saying. If somebody finds a better location 
or more, more remote or whatever, whatever reason, basically, would we let them have a new one if they surrendered their old one? License. Um, if they're moving in our area just to a different. They, uh, they can apply building. for a transfer mm. of locations. Ah. Yeah, no one's giving up their licenses. It's just. Yeah, but, but it's still going to go with the quota. I mean, if someone transfers, they transfer. I think that no one's going to surrender. It's going to get sold uh, probably with the existing location and then maybe transfer. But I think our, our concern is the quota. We've met the quota. Very much. Brandon Moreno, unmute yourself and state your comment, please. Yeah, um, my comment is I'm on the city clerk's website right now reading the cannabis regulation, public convenience or necessity finding request okay. for high as F and Alexander Leonoff. And I'm reading that um, they can't be within 700 feet of another dispensary, but there is another dispensary um, 400 or 500 feet from it right next to Ahi Sushi. So that thing's still there. That's a technicality. It can't be as that close to a competing dispensary, according to this document right here. Well, and I think, uh, thank you, Brandon. And I think that is the basin group that's 500 feet away at 12915 next to Ahi Sushi. Yes, that is it. I remember because I did look at those addresses right. very closely. Yeah. Uh, Patrice Berlin. Hi, everybody. Um, sorry, I'm late. I We've been on the road. Anyways, I just want to tell you, I totally support your decision in all of these dispensaries in our neighborhood. That's Thank it. You. Thank you. Please, um, please go ahead and follow those links on the agenda and make your own personal comment as well. I'll the more, that. yes, the more uh, stakeholders we have who make their uh, opposition known, the better. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Patrice. Bye. Anyone else? Lana, did you need uh, to? Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, it, with those council, fi council files for each of these motions that we're asking the public to comment on, do we know if there is a certain deadline date that these comments have to be included? Is it the May 28th yes. date that you mentioned? Yes. Okay. I did, yes. So okay. for the first three, A, B, and C is May 28. Uh, item number D is further in June. So, Thank but you. while you're there, might as well just get it all in and not wait sure. until. It's a good okay. reminder. Thank you. Just wanted to make that clear for all yes. those. Okay. May 28. We will be voting on these items next Wednesday night during the board meeting. And I plan on filing the council files um, the following morning, Thanks. okay? Based on the votes. Uh, anyone else? Barry, did you have another final comment before? I think that's uh, Ruth. No, no, I just couldn't uh, lower my hand. Okay. I think, I think Ruth wanted to talk. Oh, oh, one eight is Ruth. Oh, okay. I That's Barry. That. 018 is Barry. Oh, it is? Yeah. Uh, Ruth oh, okay. is 561 uh, ending oh. in 713. Okay, great. All right. And if it is Ruth, please unmute yourself ending in 018 and state your comment. No, it, 0, 018 is me and I can't lower my hand. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. And I can't lower it for you because I see it now. So um, apologies. All right, so um, we are, I, I, do, I, I do see Ruth's hand up now. I do too. Ruth, did you want to comment? Hi. Okay. I, I wanted to say that the sushi restaurant, um, I think like there's like enough sushi restaurants. Like there's so many of them in Studio City. Like I know like several of them that are struggling and I don't think that we need another. 
But with the weed shops, Randy Fried has been telling people that there was a shooting at the parking lot that happened over, like, people not being able to access $20 worth of weed or something. And I think that if we saturated Studio City with weed shops, that we might have fewer shootings. And Randy Fried should support that. I just wanted that to go on record. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um... I think that is it, right? So um, we are at the end of our agenda. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support with these items. And um, this will be our last meeting. Uh, me as your chair and you as committee members until June when a new board will be seated, at which point a new chair will be appointed and the chair will have um, the opportunity to choose their own committee members. So having said that, I just wanna say thank you so much for um, showing up month after month and caring so much about Studio City as much as I do. I adore and love our community and our city so much. And I only wish the best for every single business, every single stakeholder. Um, it's been a total pleasure and an honor through the ups and the downs and the, the um, the, just the, the, uh, the energy of it all uh, being, you know, just in favor of or in opposition of. Um, I respect every single one of you individually so, so very much. You all have um, the best intentions, I know for a fact, uh, as I do. Right. So um, we can all just do our best and believe in what we believe in to um, fight for what we want our community to be and show up and speak our minds and make sure our voices are heard. So with that. Um, and thank you, Lisa, up. for all your good work. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Tireless, thank you. Tireless work. Yes, thank you very much. For beautifying Studio City. Yes, I will never let the forgotten end be forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Keep forging forward. Um, I do have a nonprofit called Re uh, Rediscover Studio City East. So should I not get voted in? Do, should I not have a... Uh, a seat with the board, I do plan on moving forward with my nonprofit, Rediscover Studio City East. We are a 501c3. I do plan on moving forward with that, raising some funds, helping out the homelessness situation, helping out some businesses, beautifying the community, getting rid of uh, graffiti wherever there is just um, endless amount of graffiti that just keeps going up that the city takes its time in uh, painting over. So I have some plans. Should you want to like connect and work together? I would love it. Um, and like I said, it's been a total pleasure. I can't believe two years have gone by so fast, right? So with that, I wish you all the very best of luck and um, see you around the neighborhood right thank you good night everyone thank, thank you everybody thank you, thank you. Nice. so fun good night good night thank you thank you, thank you.